This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I want to show you where an accounts receivables balance is derived from. Now before we begin, let's take a look at the accounts receivable account. And you can do that by clicking on Chart of Accounts. And here is the accounts receivable account. Now the accounts receivable account is automatically created when you initially set up your company. You do not have to do anything special to set up this account. It is the default accounts receivable account. Now if you take a look over here in the balance total column, you'll see a zero. That's because in this tutorial, I'm presenting my fictional company, Joe's Landscaping, as a brand new company and they do not have any accounts receivable. Now the accounts receivable account is a current asset and it's listed in the current assets section on the balance sheet. So let's take a look at the balance sheet and you can do that by clicking on reports, then going to company and financial and selecting balance sheet standard. Now here is Joe's Landscaping's balance sheet. If there was a balance in the accounts receivable account, it would be listed here under the current assets section. But as I said a moment ago, Joe's Landscaping is a brand new company and there are no sales, which is why the accounts receivable account is not currently listed on the balance sheet. So now I want to show you how the accounts receivable account is increased. So let's go to the QuickBooks homepage. Now an accounts receivable is created when a company sells its goods or services to a customer but that customer will pay the balance on that sale at a later date. And with most companies, a sale is recognized by the creation of an invoice. So let's create an invoice just like we did in Chapter 6. My fictional company is going to be Curly Company. And I'm just going to create a sale for three of the red roses and then click Save. Now at the bottom of the invoice, you'll see a balance due for $150. That is the amount that Curly Company now owes Joe's Landscaping for the Red Roses. That is also the same amount that is going to be in our accounts receivables balance because Curly Company has received the roses but they have not yet paid for this sale. So let's close out this invoice and go back to our chart of accounts and let's take a look at the balance in the accounts receivable account. Now I'm going to drill down on the accounts receivable account and you can do that by simply double clicking the account and now you will see a line item that has been created for that transaction. Here is the customer's name and the amount that was charged to the customer. Now here in the amount paid column there is no monetary amount because Curly Company has not yet paid for that transaction. Now, more importantly, let's go back to the balance sheet by clicking on the reports menu, then going to company and financial, and then clicking on balance sheet standard. Now, underneath the accounts receivable section, you'll see a total of $150. That total represents the sale that was just made to Curly Company for the Red Roses. So to sum everything up, an accounts receivables balance is going to increase when a sale is made and an invoice is created and saved in QuickBooks and is going to decrease when the customer pays the invoice which is something that we're going to cover in a later lesson. So if you have any questions please send me an email. Once again my name is James Fox and I'll see you next time.